The question, Jeff Zeldin was just raising a great point, and we can't answer it completely yet because a lot of these places are still counting votes. But something to watch as we go through the night. So these smaller rural counties, right? You pick a county here. They're at 67 percent. You see the percentage at 65 percent, but Walker needs raw math, right? You need raw numbers. These are not big counties, but you need every vote you can get here to offset Atlanta and the right. suburbs. Right, it's such a small county. Right. It's only 1,300 votes. Right. So 2,900 votes, almost 3,000 votes right now. Let's just go back a month ago. It was more than 5,000 votes, right? So when we get the remain, we're not done yet here. We're, we're only at 67 percent. Is it enough to get close, right? You're not going to match a month ago. The turnout's probably down a little bit everywhere. The question is, can you get close, right, in these small rural counties? Let's just move over here to Hart County. We're at 95 percent here in the runoff, right? 77 percent, that's impressive. That's what you need to do. But the raw number, 7,500, let's just see. That's where we are today. A month ago, it was 7,900. So 400 vote difference there, not as bad, but a little bit of a drop. The question is, if you get a little bit of a drop in dozens of these, because there are dozens of them, these small rural counties, that is the question. What, you know, is it, does it drop you enough? Because now, as you look right there, let's come back to where we are today. Uh, Walker ahead by just shy of 36,000 votes, uh, but we still have a ton. I just want to walk around the percentages around here. Okay. You know, okay, Cobb County, again. Only 24% yeah, in. It's the third largest county in the state, so there are a ton of votes here. 55% by far the largest county in the state, ton of votes here. This is the second largest county in the state, 54% here. You move down here. You're at the fourth largest county in the state, DeKalb. We're only at 5%. So we need to there see... There are a ton of Democrats. Yeah, we, 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 we yeah. need to see We need to see much higher percentages here uh, before we can start you know, the, into the nitty-gritty. But if you're the Walker campaign, you're, you know, you'd rather be ahead than behind. Right. But you know, you know that most of the outstanding votes are right there. And you know that in this election, a month ago, in the governor's race and in the presidential race, that area is blue. And I mean, that, would you do the outstanding vote? Let me come back to the right race first. So we look at on the right race, come back to the runoff here. We come down to the outstanding vote. These are the, this is what we're still waiting for votes. So what I wanted, the, one of the points I wanted to make is this, because it's geographically so compressed, it's almost kind of misleading. There are so many big blue dots here right. uh, that it almost looks as though it's like just one when there, it's actually just set, there are, there are yeah, five or go, six. It won't go all the way out. Excuse, yeah. excuse me for turning my back, but you can stretch it out some to show you. Yeah, that's those different counties. One, right? two, three, four. That's Fulton County, yeah. Cab County, Cobb County, Gwinnett County, Clayton County below it, Henry County If they County were spread there, out, it would Fayette look County more. There. Right. I'm just saying, like, it's not over for Warnock. No. We, there, there's no, still a no. lot of votes no, to count. Yeah, there's still probably, well, as Gabe said he thought it would be, Gabe Sterling said it would be over three million. So we got, we got a million, maybe. We got a million, million votes left. Maybe a million and a half votes left to count. All right.